Hey everybody, this is Troy from OptionOmega.com and today we are going to be looking at our new portfolio feature and in particular we're going to be looking into allocation percentages. So I have this portfolio here that I've created. This is a condor portfolio or a portfolio of condors. It has two strategies in it. It has this kind of vanilla I call it like a tasty trade condor. It's a 45 day condor. You sell it at 21 days to expiration. And we have this 21 day to expiration condor that we just hold and take 10% profit or 12% stop loss. What's important to see in this is that this test is run with a 10% allocation. The longer dated one is run with also a 10% allocation. But the importance of that is that in the portfolio, both of those are going to be overruled if you want to. So we're going to create a new portfolio. We're going to use those two strategies, but we're going to change the allocations this time. So with the vanilla iron condor, we want to up that to 50% and we want to go all the way and do 50, 50 because we go hard in the paint. So 100% allocation should work out fine. What could go wrong? So we run those together and uh, in spite of ourselves, we have made money. It's good. A 50% allocation so far to each one of these this year was profitable. Now, what's interesting about this is when we did that, it overruled the 10% allocation in our test. Why did we do that? Because when you're running portfolios together, you want to be able to quickly change allocations and to see what slice of the pie, uh, depending on how big the slice is, how it affects the portfolio as a whole. So we ignore the test allocations and you can overwrite them here. Now, there's some caveats to that that I wanted to get into. If you notice this 21 day to expiration strategy, it actually is a little bit more complex. Yes, we are using a 10% allocation but we actually also have some rules in place. We can only have 10 uh, trades on at a t any given time, uh, and it's not gonna trade until one of those is closed. Uh, the other kind of caveat is we allow up to 100 contracts per trade. So this could have a million dollars in the account. It's never gonna use over 100 contracts, even if a 10% allocation would call for 1,000 contracts or something like that. Uh, we'll only use 100. So those rules we do not ignore. We will keep those in place. That In our minds, that is part of the strategy. If you don't have those, we will just use your allocation. So to go back to our test, we're going to run that again. But this time, let's do, instead of $100,000, a $1 million. And we're going to use a 50% allocation again for each one. We've done fine with it. Uh, it's done great. But the thing you'll want to notice is that in the trade log, one of these strategies is going to be using a huge amount of contracts each time. That would be the 45 day strategy where we did not have any caps on our contracts. We're just saying use 10% at all times. The other strategy, as you go through it, you're going to notice straight away in a million dollar account that a 10% allocation is always gonna be capped at 100 contracts. We want to show that because we try to respect what the strategy is. Uh, if you say just use allocation, we're just going to use allocation and you can change allocation and portfolio. If you say, I want it to have 100 contracts max, no matter if it's a billion dollars or $10, we will respect that. So we want to show that off today. It's a little bit nuanced, but when you're building portfolios, it gets a little bit more nuanced. So thanks so much for listening. As always, you can like and subscribe. Uh, you can also go to optionomega.com and sign up today. Have a good night.